more confrontational? What is more confrontational than that? Are you going to start releasing biological weapons? Are you going to start detonating nukes? Hard to get more confrontational than burning the country down. The left is also going to be permitting and even encouraging radicals and terrorists to go out in the streets and commit political violence. That's exactly what Maxine Waters just did. She instructed her followers to riot if Derek Chauvin, the cop in Minneapolis, is not convicted of murder, which is a very difficult case to make. There's really no evidence he committed murder. And if he is not convicted, Maxine Waters says, burn the country down. We have been fighting for so many years for reform, reform, reform. And so, yes, I would like to see the bill in Congress pass on police reform, but I know that the right wing, the racists are opposed to it, and I don't know what's going to happen to it, but I know this, we've got to stay in the street, and we've got to, we've got to demand justice. We're looking for a guilty verdict. We've got to stay on the street. Uh, and we've got to get more active, we've got to get more confrontational, we've got to make sure that they, th- they know that we need this. And there it is. There's the, that confrontational. So Maxine Waters has already in the past gotten in trouble for saying, and she hasn't gotten in real trouble. She's just gotten a few bad headlines, but she never has actually held to consequence. She says, when you see Republicans, when you see people in this administration, you get in their face, you mob on them, you get up on, you go to their homes, right? So she's already saying that. What happened last year? People who tend to support Maxine Waters burned down the country burn down private businesses, burn down government buildings, coast to coast. And now Maxine Waters is saying, we need to get more confrontational. More confrontational? What, what is more confrontational than that? Are you going to start releasing biological weapons? Are you going to start detonating nukes? Hard to get more confrontational than burning the country down. But that's what Maxine Waters is going to call for. And it's okay. Coronavirus isn't going to spread during those riots. Remember? That is what the liberal establishment told us last year. At the height of the coronavirus panic, at the height of the hysteria, a bunch of radical leftists led by Black Lives Matter and Antifa went out into the streets and we were told, no, that's fine. That doesn't spread coronavirus. Actually, it's good. There was a a letter signed by over a thousand public, public health officials, whatever that means, saying that that if you went out to protest white supremacy, that was actually helping the coronavirus mitigation effort because you see white supremacy is a a lethal public health threat. Meaningless words that are merely used as instruments to exert one's will. Totally unreasonable will. The Anglo-Saxon political tradition tends to frown on street violence. The, the Anglo-Saxon tradition from which we get our political tradition, it tends to not look so kindly on criminals running roughshod over the law in the streets. Maxine Waters loves criminals and street violence. She loves it. She's encouraging it. And she's been encouraging it for a long time. Which way are you going to go, America? Those, those are the two choices. And it's, it's not even enough that the street criminal side of the political question is winning. It's that even the putatively conservative Republican leaders are giving cover to the street violence people and attacking their own side. That they'll, you know, they'll fight back a little bit. They'll try to against the street violence people, but really they spend most of their energy going after the people who want to conserve that political tradition. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, nope, nope. Do not, not yet. You can't go until you smash that subscribe button. You hit that like button. You got to do it. Okay. Or for other channels, it's totally cool. YouTube, they love those channels. They promote them all the time. For us, maybe they don't like exactly what we're saying. So head on over, make sure you subscribe and never miss a video. 